guys, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got a super quick and easy project for you and this is a little dinky cosmetics um, gift box. So I needed something, I'm not going to say what it is, but I've given, um, I've got a few things here that will show you what can fit in it um, and obviously anything else that you can find that's this shape. So it fits all standard size lipsticks and lip gloss. So the height of this measures... What have I got here? So it's four, four and one eighth of an inch by three quarters of an inch. Okay, so you just open up the top here and it's got a nice little um, opening like so. And then you can just see the lipsticks fit in perfectly. You can close that one up like so. Ooh. And then on the back, it's got the rest of the DSP. This is from a beautiful I'm here paper by Pink pack. Paisley. Um, it's from last year, um, Oh My Heart, 36 sheets, and it's beautiful. And they've got this really nice cosmetics makeup one here, which was perfect for what I needed for, but you can just see there, these papers are just so me. They are just awesome. So these are going to be featuring a lot, as did my Amy Tangerine ones, which are almost gone. So yeah, really, really like those ones. Um, and then the stamp I've got here is for, just from Stamping Up. And I've kind of customised my shape to this stamp, so that will make sense as I do the tutorial. But also, you can just see the lip gloss there fits inside like so. So this is a perfect little um, packaging for um, stocking fillers or... Uh, is it stocking stuffers in the States? Um, I'm not too sure, but I, I'm sure I've heard that somewhere. But um, yeah, I just thought it was a cute little, cute little idea. It's kind of like a little card, I guess, as well, because it sits up like so. So there you go, let's crack on and make it. Okay, so you will need a piece of six by six card. Um, now mine's a slightly different measurement, but I don't want you to look at my measurement for the minute. I want you to stick with six by six and then you can decide whether you want to change it. So uh, you then need something to decorate. So I have measured a piece that is, uh, what have we got here? Say two and three eighths of an inch. I have, mine is one, two, three, four, five sixteenths of an inch. So it's in between two and a quarter and two and three eighths so um, it's up to you again watch the tutorial it's only a quick one and then you can kind of decide on the, the measurements and again here this one is 15 sixteenths three and 15 sixteenths of an inch but I guess four would probably be fine anyway so and then I've got this stamp which is from um, stamping up it's an old retired one um, and then your card and then I've got all these bits and pieces here to decorate so what you need to do is scoring along the six inch side, I know mine isn't, but you'll see why. And then, like I said, you can decide if you want to trim yours down to the five and three quarters by six that mine is. So along the six inch side here, I'm going to score at a quarter of an inch, one inch, one and three quarters, one and a half and three and a quarter. Then rotate it onto the other six inch side and you want to score at three quarters, at four and seven eighths of an inch and five and five eighths of an inch. Okay, so that's all of the scoring done. So I'm going to get rid of my scoreboard. And then you just want to burnish all of your score lines. Okay, and then we just need to do a little bit of cutting. So first of all, Along the top, so with this little quarter inch tab on your left and this big area on your right hand side, along the bottom here, let me just make out all my squares there. First of all, you've got the tiny little kind of piece at the bottom there, that little tab. Just cut that out completely and then just cut up each of these squares. And when you've done so, just remove any of the score lines. So just very slightly. You don't want to. You don't want to cut them on a, on a notch or anything, you just literally want to take out the score line. Okay, so you've got those bits like that. And then this bottom big piece, again, cutting to the right hand side of that score line so you're removing that bumpy bit. You just want to cut that all out, like so. Okay, then rotate it around. So now that quarter inch tab is on your right hand side. And go along to that first score line and just cut down past that top one down to the second one. 
and then again remove, so now you cut into the left of the score line, just remove it completely, like so. Okay, and then again go along and cut down all of these, like so, and you'll be left with this little bit on the end. Remove that, because that's now our tab. Okay, and let me just check that I'm cutting the right one, so the back sides, right. Okay, so that one's going to come out. So this third one in, this one here, or the second one in from the right hand side, you want to remove completely. So let me just fold all them down. So, okay, then the two either side, so you're going to keep this one how it is. So these two now, we need to remove this, this extra bit, like so. And then you just want to cut off, kind of notch them out on the side because they're going to be folded in and kind of give your box its, its shape. And then this very end one here, you're keeping all of it, but you just want to tidy it up a little bit. So just, I'm just removing that score line and just cutting these ever so slightly. And I'm just going to cut a little bit off the end there because I've just got the perforated bit from where it was attached to the paper pack, like so. Let me just remove all of that. And that is what you want. Obviously, if you've got double-sided paper, um, then you'll have pattern on here, but that's the shape that you want to have at this point. Okay, so now what we want to do is add some tape onto this side here of our um, paper on the, the little tab here. So I'm just going to flip mine over and put it along and get that all stuck down. So just remove your tape and you basically want to line it up because it's going to, st if you fold it in half, so fold it down like so and fold all this in half. And basically it's going to line up and sit along that last score line like so. So when it opens up it's like it's attached. Okay. So it's stuck inside there to form the square box. Then you've got your bottom. So again this is the front so I'll stick that one down last. So. I'll just stick in one of the side bits there, put a splodge of glue on, concentrate on the edges, again that one there, and the last one, like so. Turn it upside down and usually I would use a ruler, now I've got a long paintbrush so I'm just going to use that in there just to push down bottom there so all that glue and then I've got my piece that I've decorated already here so I'm just going to get that one stuck okay. down so where I said about I cut mine down so this is the reason why because I've basically worked it around this stamp because I really like it and because it's a narrow rectangle stamp I had an extra quarter inch coming off here and that stamp just didn't sit right in there so if you stick with the six by six yours will be a quarter inch longer here and a lot of you will that will be fine because you can just find a bigger stamp or sentiment to put in place but basically what I'm saying is you can then adjust this bit so it's fine to cut even at this stage and you could still put it in your um, cutting um, your guillotine or whatever even when it's all made up so you can still play around with what you want to fit in there but basically that's obviously how it all comes together and then I've got the back so that just all sticks down like so, and then I'm just going to quickly put some embellishments okay, on Okay, there you go. Draw all those embellishments, I just opted for one little heart on the bottom, I quite like it like that. So there you go, it's a really simple straightforward project, but I think it's quite unusual looking. And this would be great to do in bulk, so if you've got lots of little favours or something you needed to give. Um, but this is perfect for what I need it for, and it's ready now to put in anything that would fit in that size that I mentioned at the beginning. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial from me. Um, Hit the like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.